Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Omori. Um, so I learned that you can just hit Q and bring that up. We're only missing C and S from here. But as it happens, got a little, got a little train pass earlier, which means we can now board the train. Oh Jesus, home is not here. Home is not here, but where is here? Case full of spider webs. Bag full of dirt. Home is not here. Home is not where here is. Home is not here. Case full of little bones. All right. Um, I'm glad I didn't just hop on it. Train is moving. So stranger, huh? Berries. Crosses. Dirt. Spider webs. Little bones. Crystals. Berries. Crosses. Dirt. We're looping. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's kind of eerie when you don't actually have the option to speak with your party. Crosses. Berries. Crystals. Bones. webs hmm strange I'm not actually sure what I meant to do here I continued to explore a little bit, and a strange howling or something appears to have begun. Oh man. Coming up on the ending here. Uh, it's a something. Yeah, it's a something. Everyone but Omori's afraid. Sunny. Sunny would be afraid if he were here. But he isn't. It's Omori we're talking about. Sunny. I'm sorry. Conductor Jash, ladies and gents, we've arrived at our stop. Welcome to Orange Oasis when the moon shines brighter. Exit train in orderly fashion. Thank you for the patronage. Right with us again. Bzzzt. Toast. Is that meant to imply that they're all dead? And the air's sweet here. You can smell the sugar. Oh, wow. Um, this is one of the only places with NPCs. But oh, it's even hotter than before. Luke, he gets down, but sometimes you just need someone to listen to. Someone's me. Everyone's different and interesting. Wonder what makes me different and interesting. Waiting for the train so long, can't remember why. I wanted to come here. Familiar. Spot my with my little eye. Rainbow umbrella with lots of legs. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Normal sized fruit. Big bread. Pamphlets for tourists. Orange Oasis. Oh, and there's the big fruit we were. Yes. 
this seems kind of a side quest area, if you'll pardon my saying so. Oh boy. Big Apple. Sure is a big apple. Is there giant fruit here? The bones and fossils make sense. Big banana. Okay, it's bad for my cavities, but who needs teeth? Orange Oasis is mostly full of senior folk who've been around since who knows how long. But I have my hopes one day this could be a flourishing city. Plenty of land everywhere. But it's also a desert, mon frere. Oh, a ghost. Um, sir? Beard ghost. Hmm. Where's I going? Memory of what it used to be. What you got there? Mapped old top hats party? Ooh, it sure is. But you're going before the food gets cold. Here I come. All you can eat buffet. Another one of those fucking faces in the wall. These hollow spaces I mark. In them, I've hidden my most precious belongings. I smashed my face to remember but lightly. Any harder, it would break. Smash any harder, and it would break. Oh. Jam packets. Oh, it's a pun on jam packed. Desert bunny? Milkshake bunny and pancake bunny. Oh, they're cute. Kill them. Kill them now. Um, so headspace has become like mostly aired out, like empty, you know? Like almost nobody's in it anymore. Just for the most part, people are either in Orange Oasis or they're in they're they're somehow side quest related. Oh, hello, Mari. Candy apples. Sand here isn't sand. It's brown sugar. Isn't that sweet? Sure is hot out. Remember to stay hydrated. Let's have a picnic, then. I'm, I'm getting whiplash here. Brown sugar feels good. I almost want to pick it off and eat it. That's disgusting, Kel. Why would you think that? You're weird. We all have weird thoughts sometimes. Kel just doesn't think before he says them out loud. I consider that a good thing. If you got something to say, you should say it. It's just wrong. You should think before you speak. Have some self-awareness. Says who? You, Miss Bossy Pants? I have plenty of self-awareness. I know where I am at all times. Using up you too. Balance, guys. It's all about balance. Hero, you coward. It's the laziest answer I've ever heard, you fucking centrist. I expected better from you. Oh, man. what I say now? <laughs> I feel like of all of them, Hero is used the least. Pond water is so clear. I see a whole nother world on the other side. Oh, can you now? Oh no. Rain Town. Okay. Yuck. Ah, it's raining too hard. It's making us slightly uncomfortable. Mystical valve that controls our rainfall, but only the chosen one can turn us. No one helps us. We're doomed to be slightly uncomfortable forever. This is rather silly. Some pots, some empty, some knots. Hearty soup. I love a good soup. I might make soup tonight, actually. In rain town, it always seems to be raining. Not the most ideal weather conditions for a picnic, but it's never stopped me before. 
Anytime is good for a picnic. That's right, Kale. Anytime is a good time, especially with friends. Mmm, yummy. Thanks for the soup. This soup is delicious. Can I have some seconds, please? What's wrong, guys? Is there something wrong with the soup? Uh, lazing around the rain is fun and all, but eating in the rain is a whole other thing. <laughs> Can't tell where the rain ends and the soup begins. <laughs> Umbrella. Uh, a pot. Oh. Look at that. It was that easy. Rain has been adjusted. Neat. Thank you, Chosen One. We'll remember your act of kindness forever. What's that, child? You want to go with them? You sure? That's your wish. Chosen One, this child wishes to join you on your quest. She's yours now. Take good care of her. Go forth, heroes. Journey awaits you. Please tell me she's a key item. She's not a snack, is she? Oh, she's an equip then. Oh yeah, we got bunny ears because we killed a lot of bunnies. They're like cat ears, but better. And I'm still gonna be a little Neko Mimi, so. Veggie kid. Oh. How useful. Dance with me, bunny. So, I take it I should have come here a lot, a lot earlier. Probably could have come here a lot earlier, yeah. These poor bunnies. I think I only needed to kill a few more bunnies to uh, unlock the end of the... Or at least the next step of the rabbit killer quest. Wonderful. Oh, hey, it's you guys. Captain Spaceboy and the pirates went somewhere with a great urgency. Me and my dude decided to look for Captain Spaceboy's lost planet Pluto. Where can you be? Pluto, come out and play. Hello. Croissant is upside down. Flip him. Thanks. This is a rather silly aversion considering we've just gotten to the most serious part of the quest. I was just looking for where the C and S spaces are. Because this is between giant pinwheels, and I was in Pinwheel Forest. And this is within a live shell, so I assume it's somewhere in the deep well. I was just in the deep well and I missed it. So, I'm probably going to have to... Oh, it's the puzzles. Should have listened. Ginger dead, man. I'm not sure how I feel about this segment. I feel like it is fair for the developer of a game to be like, hey, you should look at all the content I made. Sometimes, um, like, let's just pull a random, like, example out of my hat here. Okay. Um, let's take, for example, Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, in Kingdom Hearts 1, you are often going back and forth around the same areas over and over again. Like, um, I mentioned it a few days ago, actually. 
or not a few days, a few episodes ago, that I'm playing through KH1 with my wife. Toast Ghost. So when you're in the state of being toast, you can die and become a ghost, I guess. We recently did Deep Jungle, um, which is the Tarzan section of Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, you so constantly go back and forth between the same areas. There's only like seven or eight areas in Deep Jungle. And you're just constantly going back and forth between all of them, looking for like cutscene triggers to try to find the plot. It's just, you know, a little transparent that they're like, yeah, just pat it, you know? There's so much padding in Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, the Colosseum just got there. That's like three rooms. It's not very much in the way of uh, stuff in Alice in Wonderland. The Monstro section is atrocious. That should never have been included. Like... Even more than the gummy ship should have not been included in Kingdom Hearts, never ever. She listened. Monster of the Whale should not have been in Kingdom Hearts 1. To be perfectly frank, it's fucking miserable, in fact. A good track anyway where was i yes i think it is fair for a dev to be like you should look at the stuff that i made for the game because i worked really hard on it and especially for an indie game like this but um like the whole plot is leading up to the big confrontation in white space or possibly black space like it's gonna it's getting hype you know And then it's like, okay, sorry, but also go run around the world and find some, you know, some stuff. Go find the secret puzzle pieces to unlock the world. You must find more library cards to beat the game. So, you know, I'm just like, it's a little weird is all. Um, I actually wasn't intending to start recording yet. Um, now I think I would be remiss if I had not started recording because I would have missed all the things on the train or, um, like if nothing else, we saw something as in the entity known as something. Um, so yeah, we saw something and like, that was, that was worth recording, I think. Especially considering we've never seen one that's like shaped like something and the thing was shaped like a deer, which is pretty weird. Um, and like, I don't want to like just blow through the whole area off camera, but I do want to skip through it, which I will. Hey, we got to a sign that says, good for you. You did it. And a jump rope. Is that important? Nobody like uses a jump rope, right? As like a weapon, I guess. Stuff toy. Yo-yo. Difficult puzzle with blank pieces. Hello, welcome. Make yourselves at home. Never dull moment. Isn't that right, Victor? Something's I dug a huge tunnel, but has a secret entrance no one knows about. Uh huh. This reminds me of another song. <laughs> oh, of course, if dying means that you become toast in this world, then obviously the equivalent of the afterlife and all the Egyptian stuff is, hey, uh, what are you doing? My name's Orange Joe and I'm throwing oranges. So cool, but why? Because I'm looking for my long last twin brother. Oragna Joe. Separated at birth, but in my sister's heart. I know he's out there somewhere. Each orange is inscribed with a message explaining who I am and how to find me. I'm hoping that by throwing these in all directions, one of them will reach him and lead him back. Aw, that's sweet. Have you found your brother? Thank you, young lady. I know I will. My body is healthy and full of hope and vigor. But just in case, if you happen to see him, give him this orange crest. It'll lead him to me. 
If you're not my dear friend Orange Joe, we'll find your brother for sure. Blood Orange. Come home. Glass of juice that is orange. Foot of an orange like creature. So is that like Sunny heard that Kel's favorite drink is Orange Joe in the real world? And then he was like, that sounds like a guy. And then in Headspace, Orange Joe became this like entity. <laughs> That's a huge chin, bro. Let not speak of a pair of twins who guard the orange oasis from their watchful eye. Said so the power to raise the dead, among other things. Oh, raise the dead like bread. Know about those legends, but wouldn't that be interesting? This is ver this is rather silly. I will say. Yes, fight me, bunny. Ah, uh, single milkshake, bunny. I'm sorry, my friend. But your days are over, mister. God, we're barely getting anything out of these guys. I'm squeaking by around here. I suppose part of this is on me for not coming here earlier. But, like, it's not as though you needed to come here. And only now when I'm, like, searching for all of the puzzle pieces or the, the keys or whatever, am I, like, shit, you know? I don't even know how to get back, to be honest. I'm, that's one reason why I'm exploring the area. I'm looking for Pluto so I can get to Deepwell. And then, treasure map. X marks the spot. Ooh, a telescope. Aw. Oh, it's a friendly little cactus. And that one with cat ears, I assume, is a cactus. A pyramid. Oh, this is so wonderful. Splendid. Well, hello there, Mr. Abomination. Oh, boy. I, I was literally this, this close to the end of the game. Like the end of the game was right there. And then we had to go find the fucking library cards. <laughs> Food pyramid is an elect. Ah, oh, it's a food pyramid. It's your artifacts, old relics lost in time. Possibilities are endless. Oh, nuts. One dino dollar away from a silver spoon. Dino shop. Want to buy a spoon? Point it out to me and I'll help you. Oh, you dig in the ground. So this is a whole other mini game. I'm Dino. Founder of Dino's Dick. Hungry for treasure? Have a spoonful of adventure? Come to the right place. A uh, hundred clams? Sure. Dino-tastic. We dig with spoons. Give you a potato spoon for free. Right on, brother. Quick learner. 
food pyramid, you'll be able to uncover rad treasure from all over the universe. You get to keep anything you find. That's a guarantee. A dino guarantee. Uh, it has four levels. Start on the first. Might find a key that unlocks the gate to the next level. Higher you go, better treasure. Each spoon only has so many. Spoon breaks, it ends. Gate's closed. We'll call you back to the entrance. Understand it. Down autastic. Treasure isn't the only thing. Trouble some critters. All right. Bun bunny. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. Die. I'm hoping that I can find a Pluto thing soon because I want to get back to Deepwell and find that fucking piece of a keyboard that I'm missing. The one thing that I am missing. You fool. I forget what game it is. I think it's Earthbound. I've not played Earthbound myself, which is weird considering that I've played a bunch of games that are based off of it. Um... Dino Dollar. Dino Dollar. Pyramid Key. Nice. Strawberry Shortcake Snake, I guess. That's the only thing that makes sense. Oh wow, these are real enemies, huh? They like do real damage. <laughs> then one moment, everyone. Uh, hey, so I used a thing that I thought might have been a pyramid key to the next area, but I found this guy. Where am I? Who are you? Wait a second, you look kind of familiar. That body shape, citrusy exterior, it's undeniable. It must be Orange Joe's twin brother, Orogny Joe. My name is Orogny Joe, and I have a twin brother? Yeah, he's been looking for you this time. Take this, he told us to give it to you. This crest, could it be? Since I was young, I've looked everywhere from my true home. The only thing I've ever had in my name was this pennant with an orange-shaped crest engraved on it. The same one that appears on this orange crest. Makes so much sense. I know who I am. I must be Oragony Joe. Brother, I don't believe my eyes. It really is you. Yes, brother, it is me. Oragony Joe. There's no mistake. I can feel it in my citrusy heart. How I've missed you, dear brother. My body's full of hope and vigor. How I've waited for this day. We meet at last, dear brother. Let us embrace. Okay, it's fine. Thank you, children. Thought about my dear brother every day of my life, and he's finally here. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Yes, thank you for reuniting us. Waited so long to find my true home. Take a gift from me. Life gem. Let's go home. You're too gracious. Celebration, let us walk together. Hope and vigor. Hope and vigor. Hope and vigor. Wow. He had a bunch of oranges there. He didn't put it together. Oh, pyramid key. Neat. So I guess we had to do that to unlock the next level. I think this is the last one. Chicken wing. And a spoon bites the dust. Big spoon downs. Game over. Found a lot of cool treasure. Hope you enjoyed your dinotastic adventure. So, 100 clams to get started. Sorry. Wooden spoon for six. Oops. And a silver spoon for ten. Strange artifacts from different lands. 
Joe's on display are here from all over the world. I want to travel the world someday. Let's go back and see Orange Joe, and then I'm going to try to go back the way I came. Hey, so getting on the train just spits you out back here. So, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll keep exploring. Hey, we're back at the bunny guy. 56 bunnies. Rabbit foot. Oh, I asked nothing. Okay, so that is the last part. Cool. Rabbit's foot probably just... Uh, speed and luck. Cool. Cool. So yeah, I don't know where the last piece of the... I don't know where the C is, because it says it's between some pinwheels. And I've been running around the pinwheel forest for a, a little bit now. Plum juice, okay. Let's try good advice. Follow your heart and take your brain with you. You know, I'm still curious as to why in the big family photo with what I'm pretty sure is Mari, Mommy, and Omori, and presumably in the real world there's an equivalent with Sunny. Um, I'm curious as to why we've never seen Omori or Sunny's father. Mm hmm Take this, it's a gift from me. A Dendelian. Cool. Um, I hate that. Pardon me, Sprout Molt. Mm. I wonder what happens if you run from a battle after killing one uh, enemy. It's a pretty standard RPG question. And usually you still get the effect of running, which is that you get nothing, but escape with your life. But having already killed someone, you'd think that you would get something. An angry bunny. So I wonder if we can come back to that place anytime. I kind of hope so, because I don't want to do it right now. Oh god, I'm getting so lost. This stupid maze of bunnies and pinwheels. Oh god, this is so dumb. <laughs> Okay, that leads back to the train today. I can't believe I'm getting lost in this game, of all things. Alright, this spits me out to here. Does this keep going? Okay, it's the fog that eats the world. Very demons souls. If I do say so myself. Oh, we're back here, but in, like, a different way. Or are we? Sorry, my eyes are kind of drifting. I'm getting hypnotized. Um... Because of the thing where I have it, you can see it here, actually. You can see how my mouse is on screen twice. I have that projected on twice. But then there's also the third projection, which is the just raw game itself. Okay. Pinwheel. More pinwheels. So... Maybe it's not a lost cause. 
talking about Earthbound earlier. Forgot why. Um, in Earthbound, I believe there's a mechanic where, in once the player gets to a high enough level, exploring an older areas and triggering a random encounter will just kill the enemies instantaneously. So not only do you not have to like sit through a transition, but you also just kill them immediately and for free. Big bone. Aren't we in here? Shelter. Small bone. Nourishment. Oh, is that Kel's dog, I guess? Why are sprout moles so ready to die? Okay, I think we followed these all the way up here. Already. But I guess we'll just retrace the steps, huh? Between two pinwheels. That's what it said, right? But this is just the big ass ladder that leads to space, right? Ugh, I am so lost. This is worse than that episode of Morrowind that hasn't come out yet and won't for a month. Sorry, fam, but you've got to die. Okay, so it's not this way. Tire swing? Yep. This game probably has some hefty foreshadowing I failed to pick up on. Pinwheel Forest, Foggy Bridge. So Pinwheel Forest is that way? Oh god, we've looped around. Or have we? Fuck. We have. Damn it. Damn it. All right, let's go to let's go to Pluto. Oh, let's not even go down the other way. All right, let's wait here for Pluto. And then we're going to Deep Well. It's the only place that I can think of where there would be like a shell. Ah, crap. Okay. What is Otherworld? Is that just space? I have forgotten what Otherworld is. Okay, yeah, it's space. Hey, so while exploring uh, Deep Well, I found this. To all those lost lovers out there, this one is for you. Man is an absolute loon. Space Pirates and Trans Brother Captain. Hi, I'm Sadie. Sister and I started this cafe. Claims have been tight, so they started to work in the last resort. Me and my sister Eleanor left. Wish they'd come back here. I'd do anything to hear him sing again, especially as opposed to a uh, Space Captain ex husband. Space. There's. Uh, orders now? Okay. Welcome to the mustard sub. Can I take your order? Uh, ooh. Nice. <laughs> All right. Respect your community, cool bike. Jetson, love yourself. Thank you. Cool bike. Be kind to others. And brick. I donate to charity. The Sea Cow Farms. Oh god, they're ugly. Uh, Moo? Oh, what now? A squeeze.
Exquisite, you say? Get him. Yeah. Out of here, Aubrey. Go do some damage. Shaboodles. All right, I'm not really that interested in killing all these fools. They're a little below my uh, pay grade here. Hey there, partner. This part's known as Seacup Farm. You can call me Jim. Famous in a family business of generations and easy with landing over on my squizzards. Oh. I had a brilliant idea. Might run into some squizzards and i give you some clams. Can I know peace with them damn squizzards? Fresh and chunky milk. Mmm. Hey y'all, says Farmer Jim. No, lately, there's been a lot of those squizzards. Damn right. Here's your clams. Get some nice. Thank you, you sycophant. Oh my god, they're all back. Oh yeah, I guess because of the mechanic where things just essentially like refresh. As soon as you transition the area. That's kind of annoying. So these are the little offshoots where you can run around the back and skip paying the toll. Which I initially did, but now I have to. Where am I? Oh crap. Boss, like I wasn't I was just... Oh, you're a bunch of kids. But you want me to open the gate? Oh, it's all by this Jack. Gonna cost you 300 clams, but I'd find another way. Really? Just got that kind of money lying around? I'm just swimming in it. Gate's open. Please avoid my spikes at all costs. Thank you. Alright, there's the freaking S. We've done it. One key left. Oh yeah, we can just taxi cab back to... We don't have to. End of the road. We just gotta figure out where the sea is. Because what we're swimming in is the ocean. <laughs> Kill me. Kill me dead. All right. In that fish head is a fisherman, which is to say he's a man fish. He's called Fishman. He fishes. It's a whole thing. He doesn't appear to have a side quest, though, so who cares? Okay. Um. Oh, we can go back to Orange Oasis. That's good. A uh, vast forest, I guess. You got it. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> okay. No, Bunny, please. You'll just be committing suicide by boy. I should probably pause it. My wife's waiting on me to finish studying and have dinner she's studying and still has to study in fact
bro. How rude. Impolite. Okay. Between giant pinwheels. Where the hell is it? Hey, so uh, I went up this ladder and it appears to be a different place than it was just here. Oh, th there must be two ladders then. Um, okay. No keys left. Welcome to Black Space. Hey, also, I won Hangman. Mm-hmm. It's Basil's house. something or depression sprite as I've been calling him sorry things are connecting in my brain hey right, we're back in there's a hole here Go into it? Okay. Hello, dear. She blew me a kiss. Oh, Jesus. There's a noose here. Spooky. Stay away. You're not my son. Why? Why would you fall? That's why there's no dad. Mari hung herself. Or was hanged. Um. Yow. Oh, hey, Amari. Mmm, delicious fruit. Time to forget all the bads. Let's have a picnic. My ears popped again. Oh, uh, yeah, it tends to happen with the elevation. What? Did you say something? I said your ears popped because of the elevation. You should keep it down. It's not just us here. Can't you see that boy with his kite? He looks like he's concentrating really hard. Oops. Sorry, kite kid. So... Here's something I hadn't considered. Sunny's real, real sad. Propeller ghost. Why'd I have to go get lost? Aw, oh, poor Kai. Oh, hi. Is this a map? I can see Top Hat Seal on it. By golly, this must be a direction to the party. Thank you so much, kind stranger. Talk to you at the party. Wonderful. Okay, so. Sunny's real, real caught up in Mari's death. Yeah, let's disturb him. Just a boy with his kite. May not look like much, but we have an unbeatable bond. Not something just anyone will understand. Should you have a strong girl where we work together? Oh my god. Kid's kite. Kite kid. Cute.
Um, I feel really sorry for this guy, considering that he's going to get the river on him. Oof. Amori, go. Get him some more. Anyway, Sonny's real caught up about Mari's death, right? Brags about Kid's Kite. You know, and I'm not to say, I'm not here to say, like, how much any one person should grieve over another person's death. But I will say, constructing a fantasy world in which you and all your friends live and your sister's not dead is a bit much. No, this can't be. The wind, it's getting weaker. Me and my cat have an unbreakable bond. How could we lose? I had never considered that the reason Sunny is so busted up about perfect weather conditions. Can't, can't, can't perform without perfect weather. Wind's weaker. Maybe there's something wrong with the pinwheels. I'm told to before. When I'm looking at my kite, I catch a glimpse of a dark void in the sky from the corner of my eye. I used to see it very rarely, but these days it's happening more frequently. Weird. Oh, yeah. Let's fly kites. Aw, how wonderful. Oh, we got regular kite, bunny, top it, and Miwo, and the bear. All right. Anywho. I had never, ever considered that the reason Sonny is so broken up over Mari's death is because he had something to do with it. That was never a thing that had come to mind. But that could be the case. The the thing in the thing said spaghetti, nice. The thing said Mari to know the truth. Mari and Basil. Is there a is there a murder plot? Was it jealousy involved? Is that why Omori has such a fixation on on Basil? Cause he killed his slash Sonny's sister? That seems like kind of a swerve for the character, to be perfectly frank with you, but um you know, could be something. Or two characters know the truth. Or um, the, the thing said two people know the truth. One is Mari, and in the real world she's dead. And one is Basil, and in the real world, Basil is tormented by Aubrey's gang. Aubrey's gang is like, he deserves it. Kel is like, no, he don't. Why do you do this to him? And... Fuck, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to string together the plot in my head during the walk back to, to white space. Because I assume the next episode will be the last. This was kind of just... More or less a filler episode to help get everyone up to speed. Um, Yowza. Or maybe if it is legitimately Basil's fault, then maybe that's why in Omori's dream world and headspace, Basil is captured. Because if the, if the thing that I mentioned earlier is true, my theory that there's thousands of loops... Like, we're all in a time loop inside Omori's head. And, like, Sunny is, you know, stuck here. And has been for several years. Maybe it's just a part of the time loop. That Basil gets hurt and captured every single time loop is... Something like Penance. Right. 
You know, maybe that's the logic of it. Because Sonny wants to enjoy time with his friends, but he also feels like Basil must be punished for his guilt. Or knows that he himself is guilty. These are sunflowers. Call that because they face the sun. These are the things that he said earlier. Lily of the Valley. And Mimari. The two who know the truth, according to that thing in... Roses are coming. Hero is like all roses. Gladiolus. Aubrey. Cacti. Like Kel. These are white tulips. Comfortable, modest, and perfect, like sunny. Not Omori. What the fuck? The trees are dying. Sorry, I'm kind of at a loss for words here. The implications of Omori's endgame is staggering to the plot at large. One of the things that is keeping me, like, footprints. One of the things that does help me keep all the things consistent in my head is that I do have to look back at my old recordings. Omori, I'm scared. Let's go back. Small plants, they're a little sad. What the fuck, man? So is that black space down there? It's a long way down. Dude. Dude. Are we going to beat the game now? <laughs> getting spooked I'm getting spam spoozled black water we're on the other side of the beach this is where we built sandcastles with our friends here's the spider forest Omori was afraid of water spiders heights next it's the stairs. What the fuck, bro? Black door. Black space. Black door casts a heavy shadow. Open that door, man. The only way through that tidal wave is through. Or past that tidal wave, I think is the saying. Oh, man. There it is. Keys. 
So yeah, the voice mentioned that the keys change shape every time. Oh, I just realized. Omori is all dressed up in his, you know, in his finery, in his little, in his little boy suit, you know. But Sonny is just in his undies. There is no light bulb in black space. Tissue box. Key. No menu. Um, I hate to do this to everyone, but I'm really hungry and I want to eat dinner. And I have been recording for an hour, so I am going to cut this here. But the next episode will be the last one. I will finish it, I promise. I've been Alfred, this has been Omori. Um, yow. It's getting real. It's getting real real here. I'll see you guys next time. Um... The next episode should be out in two days. So, get ready.